This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Hey, backyard scientist here. Nobody has made a cotton candy gun before. So today, I'm going to change that. I'm gonna make the world's first cotton candy gun. Sugar takes a while to melt, so while that's melting, let's set up for the first test. It's pretty simple and it should work just like this. Let's say that this is the molten sugar, and I put this little straw right in the molten sugar like this. Okay, what I'm trying to show you is called the Venturi effect, and if you've ever used a sandblast or garden sprayer, carburetor, or propane torch, you know what I'm talking about. A Venturi nozzle basically works because as the air expands out of the nozzle, it creates a suction that pulls stuff along with it. Here's an example, watch how the smoke gets sucked into the stream of compressed air. Now replace the smoke with sugar, and boom, cotton candy gun. Venturi nozzles can be used to mix basically anything together, from molten sugar to something a little spicier. I've got the first batch of very liquid, very hot sugar. This is like napalm, it's kind of terrifying. You ready? Hey! Oh, it worked! Oh, but it froze! My idea worked, and I was able to suck the sugar up the tube, but the cool air was instantly freezing the molten sugar. <laughs> Look at that, it's like a little sugar icicle that formed right there. That didn't work as well as I hoped, but maybe we'll be able to remelt this or make some taffy. Okay, next idea. The problem is the sugar kept freezing on the tube and plugging it up, so my next idea solves this by using a bigger ceramic tube and a wider nozzle. Okay, this is the Sugar Flamethrower Mark II. It's basically just that tube that I showed you and then an air gun for an air compressor. Screw it on and then pop it into your compressor's air hose. Okay, here we go. Molten Sugar Flamethrower. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. Look at that. It's working. It's working. It's working. No. Don't clog, don't clog, no! Oh, no! This was supposed to be an easy video. Melt some sugar, squirt it out of a tube, and get a stream of cotton candy. I didn't predict I'd be summoning a demon from the nozzle. This is gonna be harder than I thought. I tried preheating the nozzle and superheating the sugar, but it just prolonged the inevitable. Oh, it's happening again though, look. What the heck is going on? The sugar kept freezing in the nozzles, so the obvious solution is to use hot air, right? Well, I've got the perfect thing for the job. This is a rocket engine I made for a video last year. The propane goes in this side, and the compressed air goes in this side, and then a 2,000 degree supersonic jet of fire comes out of this nozzle right here. So the only modification I made to this is this tube that goes on the end of the nozzle right here. When I ignite the engine, the sugar should get sucked up this suction tube and blasted out of this end at supersonic speeds. Wow, you don't know how many tries it took for me to get that right. <laughs> so this is how I ignite the rocket engine. It's like a little high voltage starter. As soon as I turn on the propane in the air, I'm gonna click this, it's gonna start the rocket engine, and you will not be able to hear anything once I do that. Hopefully you just see cotton candy. This is using the same principle as the Venturi nozzle I showed you earlier, but it's powered by a rocket. So it should siphon up the sugar and turn it into cotton candy, but it's not. It looks like the sugar wasn't melting on camera. The whole neighborhood smelled like caramel though, so I think that the rocket was just vaporizing the outside of the sugar grains. Am I too bright? Do I look too bright? How's this, better? Now my mom's gonna yell at me about the trash cans in the background though. But the siphon tube was working great, so I set up to try again, this time with molten sugar. It turns out melting the sugar just made the problem worse, because now all of the sugar is burning inside of the tube. I didn't make cotton candy, I made an afterburner. I don't know if you could see it on camera, but the sugar was just instantly vaporizing. So I wasn't getting any cotton candy, but I was getting a lot of thrust. By this point, I was feeling pretty defeated, so I went to the county fair because I just wanted some cotton candy. I walked around, but I couldn't find a single person selling it. And that's because they've all been replaced by this. It's a CNC cotton candy machine that can make different shapes of cotton candy using a robot arm and some tools in the enclosure. You select the shape you want and the machine goes to work. I asked the lady operating the machine how it works and she showed me inside. It is super simple. Each color of sugar has a valve and when that valve opens, the sugar gets blown through a tube into the cotton candy maker. This spinning thing right here is covered in tiny holes and it has a heating element inside. When the sugar starts to soften, it's forced through all these tiny little holes, stretches out and becomes cotton candy. And then the machine cleans itself out with water. This is so much cooler than my cotton candy gun. <laughs> if you thought the CNC cotton candy machine was cool, oh, you're gonna love this. Listen up. This July 15th and 16th, me and 75 other of the top and the coolest YouTubers are going to be in San Francisco for Open Sauce. It is the only event where you can meet your favorite YouTubers and pilot a robotic pill inside of somebody's body. It's like a science fair mixed with a YouTube convention. You can meet a life-sized Furby, stomp around on a giant keyboard. There's gonna be over 20 battle bots there. So many cool projects and a sugar glider 
coils have been rejected. I'm sorry if this is how you had to find out, but that's because the giant musical Tesla coils would have given them a heart attack. If you have a cool project, apply on the website, especially if it's a CNC cotton candy machine. I will personally approve you. Tickets are on sale now. Grab them before they're gone because this is going to be an awesome event, but don't take my word for it. The airbrush t-shirt guy at the carnival says to go also. Yeah, go open sauce, July 15 and 16. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. So trying to suck the molten sugar up a tube wasn't working. And while I was messing around trying to find a better way to do it, I accidentally discovered something amazing. By simply oh pouring God. molten sugar into a stream of air, you can get a perfect strand of cotton candy. Now, I want to try to make this bigger, so I need another set of hands, and Mark Rober's assistant, Alan Pan, is just the guy. The, the sugar out of the out of prime energy. We're about to give this Airbnb an apocalyptic ant infestation. Alan is going to control the, uh, the leaf blower. I'm going to pour the sugar in. All right, give me a countdown. Go! Oh! Now instead of one stream, I got a pasta strainer so we could pour multiple streams in at the same time. Oh yeah, that's working good! I'm Spider-Man! I'm Spider-Man! <laughs> that works! Oh, oh she went for it. it! The leaf blower strainer combo worked great, but it was a little bit hard to use. I want to make something I can use myself, and I've got some pretty good ideas. I'm actually eating it. <laughs> I just wanted to kiss you. <laughs> I used my laser welder to make a special nozzle that'll act like the pasta strainer, giving me multiple streams of sugar. And I tested it with water and it works fine, but molten sugar is a little bit thicker. Is this nozzle the secret to making cotton candy? Just like a leaf blower can spin sugar into delicious cotton candy, Surfshark can encrypt your internet connection and spin it into a safe and secure online experience. Surfshark is a VPN service, and when you use a VPN service, your online activity disappears just like how cotton candy melts in your mouth. Here's an analogy. Say you're at the fair and your girlfriend won't let you buy cotton candy because she says it'll make you fat. So you ask your friend to go buy the cotton candy for you, and he brings it back, and then you can eat it without her ever knowing because it's encrypted cotton candy. But actually, it's a really clever and useful service. So say you want to watch a movie, but it's not available in your country. With Surfshark, your computer can be anywhere in the world. Say for some sick reason you want to watch the live action remake of Death Note. Well, this website says it's not available in your country and it shows countries where it is available. So just open up Surfshark, find one of the countries where it's available, connect, and then you can watch the movie. Surfshark is your cool friend that gets you the cotton candy. And because Surfshark encrypts your data before it leaves your computer, that means that you can use public Wi-Fi without worrying about hackers stealing your data. I want you to be safe, so get an exclusive Surfshark deal. Enter code back backyard at surfshark.deals slash backyard and you'll get an extra three months of VPN service. Again, that's surfshark.deals slash backyard for an extra three free months of VPN service. So this is it, the culmination of days of research. I call this the last hope for my video. So how this should work is I fill this with molten sugar right here. And then instead of trying to use suction to suck the sugar out, I'm gonna pressurize this with compressed air. And then a stream of compressed air is gonna come out of this nozzle right here where it meets the six streams of sugar and hopefully turns into a giant cloud of cotton candy. While I was melting the sugar, I preheated the tank and the nozzle in the oven and then I carefully carried everything outside and filled the tank up. Those are some nice threads. Those are some beautiful threads right there. I had to move quickly because the sugar might freeze inside of the tank. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, I don't know. I don't think it's working. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's working. It's working. Now it is. It was kind of working. I spent a long time trying to improve this. I added a nozzle onto the end, which worked okay, but it sprayed molten sugar back at me. And then I tried a different nozzle design, but the sugar would just build up inside of the nozzle. I tried different temperatures, different pressures, different sugars, more nozzles. I am stickier than I've ever been in my entire life. I tried a nozzle that would squish the sugar between two streams of air. I tried pumping molten sugar into a cotton candy machine made out of an angle grinder. It's hot! It's hot! Ah! <laughs> I even tried making a cotton candy air cannon out of a repurposed fire extinguisher and ball valve. But nothing worked as good as simply pouring the molten sugar into a stream of air. And you know what? That's probably for the best because that means that you can try it too. Just uh, try not to burn yourself on any molten sugar. 